Oh, don't do that. No, no, no. You don't want to go in there. Don't want to go in there. Thank you. There we go. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to That's Mr. Camper. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. A wonderful week. I hope that you are having a wonderful week. I really appreciate you being here. Sorry I'm naked. Well, all except for the uh, rusted Fruit of the Looms I'm wearing. But I really hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. I appreciate all the support on the ARC series so far. The likes, the subscription, the comments. I love talking to you guys. And I wanted to tell you that today is going to be a base alteration day for me. I got to thinking about the Bronto Tame yesterday and how we ran out of kibble about halfway through it. And spending three hours taming something up after the kibble takes hold is really not my uh, opinion of a great time. Um, I ran around and killed stuff and done a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, with the spawns turned way up for me on the... Uh, for the, I got it all the way maxed out for the difficulty, so the spawns are spawning really kind of a uh, lot higher level dinosaurs, which, which is uh, what I wanted, but I didn't want to leave the Bronto alone to spend that much time and just have it killed by something stupid like a Dilo or something, so I didn't leave it alone for very long, and I wanted to get the kibble farm, like, sit you, like, handled, like, done completely, and also I'm going to eliminate this part right here. This is going to be gone. I'm going to cut all this out right here, and I'm going to wall this off right along here, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take that gate and I'm going to 90 it right off of here, and I'm going to try to create, let's uh, see how it works, it's probably going to epically fail, but a ramp up here and then 90 this way, and then I'm going to have a huge long corridor right back behind the base, so I can put a... Uh, kibble uh my eggs and everything so all i can put all of my eggs tame up a whole bunch of stuff and get the egg situation handled get it absolutely done so i don't have to mess with it and the taming pen i'm glad you asked about the taming pen because i'm going to eliminate that that's going to be gone i've already started another taming pen right down here i just uh, doing some experimentation and stuff like that. But I'm going to put another taming pin right... The taming pin right down here. Because I don't really use it that much. I mean, it's awesome and everything. But it's just there. And a lot of the time, the... Uh, I forget to turn off the Plant Series X turrets. And they wind up getting a little bit of damage before they get knocked out. So I'm going to finish off this taming pin right here. I don't know what I was thinking with the... I was thinking to have uh, catwalks across the top so I can shoot down at it no matter where it is. I thought about doing that. And I did a little bit of experimentation. Dropping dinos in there is kind of an issue, but I'll get that figured out. But the base is going to look totally different on the back side right here once I get all of this knocked out. So I hope you stick around and let's get to building. See you in a second. And we're back, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're making the turn with the beaver turn. It's morning. It's morning time. Get off me. Get off me. I can't tell you what drives... I don't know what drives me more crazy. That you can't walk past a bird even though you're not touching it. Or squeezing past dinosaurs. Or them looking at you and holding you in one spot while you're trying to move. That drives me crazy. But look! We made our ramp. I think this is going to be a vast improvement from what it was because we had all of this stuff out here and we weren't even really using it except for the taming pin and that gate really made it hard to turn in uh, big dinosaurs so that's eliminated now we're just going to have to run 90 degrees off of this thing and we should be good I wanted to show you this over here yeah I just ran off the side I'm going to try to fix that but it worked out perfectly look at this the ceilings come right out to the edge of the cliff. I'm going to ceiling up this part right here, right along here, all the way down to the side to where it, uh, to where the wall is. And, oh, don't do that. No, no, no. You don't want to go in there. Don't want to go in there. Thank you. There we go. But underneath here, we picked up a lot of storage. Look at all this storage space we picked up right here. That's crazy. We'll be able to put some... We'll be able to put a whole bunch of crap in here for sure. I'm sure it'll fill with stuff that we'll never ever use. We'll get and never ever use again. But it's storage space nonetheless. But I couldn't do anything about this right here. It's kind of driving me a little bit crazy. I don't I don't know why. But it just drives me a little bit nutty that I can't put that uh, little 
triangular piece in there. It drives me crazy. But the point is, is that dinosaurs come in here, walk up the ramp, take a right, and bam, a dino gate straight on so you can go straight through the gate instead of having to manipulate hitting the right side of the gate or the left side. And also it accomplishes our goal of being able to expand this back side right here to really get our egg farm going because man that was upsetting yesterday i don't know whether you could tell in my voice but i was really upset that i couldn't handle uh, i couldn't uh, it really bothered me that uh, i let the situation go where i couldn't didn't have enough kibble and got into that tame and it took so long to do that tame and by the way art can you please make a railing that goes at a slant can you pretty please do that that would be that would be fantastic if you could do that well that's kind of it's like halfway i guess uh it's gonna stick out a bit i bet it'll stick out but we're gonna throw these not like a big dinosaur can't walk over these or anything but all the little bitty ones they won't be able to go over that side you pretty much have a three high wall but i do have a three high wall on this side right here look how this turned out guys it looks I think it looks great. I still got my little access door right here. I can't get anything in here, but I will be putting some spike walls along here. I still got some foundations to take up and that over there. And this is working out rather well too because I'm going to be able to put uh I'm going to be able to put the stone gates up right here. I think 3 ought to do it right along here and that's going to make a massive wall. So this side will be completely protected against the big dinosaurs coming in i still got to stone this up right here so it's really going to look great and it'll cover out that and i won't have to have that pesky spikes in here or that little trap that caught all the little bitty animals right in here it really really was annoying just to hear the music all the time when they got caught in that little corner with the spikes and everything so yeah it's working out pretty famously so far i'm going to plant another uh stone gate well i'm another the stone gate that i plan on using right here and then i'm going to go straight along this side with walls the whole way to the end there we got plenty of stone plenty of stuff to do it and it ought to make things a lot easier to get our uh, egg farm really up and running and moving to get them high level tames that we want so when i'm done close to done and i seem to have made a lot of progress i'll be right back and we shall look and see how well I did. I think it's coming along great. So just want to give you guys an update and I'll be back. Welcome back guys. Some drastic improvements to the base going on right now. Right now some big things are happening. Big other than that. That's being annoying. Yes. Yes. That's what we want right there. Bam. Come on over to the side. I can't jump up here. Uh, found that out earlier, but I still try to do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. Thank you, lag. Actually, it was saving. Thank you, saving. Saving again, I guess. Alright, now we need this. Come on. We want the uh we want the opposite way. Can we go inside and do it? We want it we don't want it that way. We want it mm. Um Is that going to work? I don't know. Let's find out. As long as we don't get stupid and run off the side of it, I guess it might. Nope. Sure ain't. Okay, demolish you. It's not gonna work. Man, I thought that would work. Okay. We're gonna have to be a little bit more careful. Oh, no. Come down from there. Alright. Don't want anything interfering with the shots, but also don't want to... I don't want to fall in there. You just gotta remember where we're at, I guess. Um, because they get underneath you, and it really makes it hard to... Um, shoot them sometimes here you come here close that uh no we want this one come on why aren't you snapping to that the one right no is it... there is one right there i know that there's one why aren't you snapping to that 
Oh my goodness. Let's try this. Nope. There. Demolish. Alright. Well, really all we need is two. We just made extras. Extras. Alright. Um... Hmm. There we go. How about that? Yeah, that'll work. That'll do nicely. Okay, let's see. See if this will work. Alright. Up here. Up on top. There we go. How much of the... Can we see? Hey, look at that. Goes through. That's sweet, alright. If he decides to get in the corner... Wonder if we can hit him. We don't have any arrows. We've been pumping weight this entire time. There we go. Grab that. Come on. Let's see if we can hit him while it's in the corner. Just doing some testing, guys. Y'all might be interested in this. Alright. Let's just say it's in that corner. Yep. It works. Great. Great news. And we can hit every other corner in here. That's great. Okay. So now... We're up there. We just got to remember where we're at. We fall in here. We might be screwed and get killed. So what I plan on doing is this right here is done. Get out of here, Ovi, before you get killed. I'm going to put uh, my box that I had along that wall right here and put all of my good stuff in it, like uh, my bows and trank darts and things like that. I won't put a... I won't put a whole lot of stuff in here just in case it gets destroyed or something. In fact... I might put it out here in case it's one of the uh, animals gl glitches through and hits the uh, the storage. I don't want it to hit the storage, so I'll probably wind up putting it out here somewhere so it doesn't get hit. So let me show you what else we got going on. We got so much else. Um, all right, come on, guys. Let's go show them. Let's go show them what we did. Come on. Right up here. We got a whole lot done. A whole lot done. In a short amount of time. I'm really happy with the way it turned out too. The Anklo. Need to get that movement speed up, buddy. Open that. Come on, Anki. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Make that turn. Make it! You're goofy. Why aren't dinosaurs goofy? I wonder they didn't survive. Alright, now you got it. Now you cook them with fire. <laughs> Alright. The ball. Off you. Oh yeah, you're following somebody. Okay, you're close enough now, so... Alright, grab that. We do have to repair something up there that I forgot that we... Well, actually, I misplaced it, and I need to replace it. So, we got our tame and pin done. Everything will drop in there. We won't have to have our Plant Series X shooting it on the way in. We'll just drop it in there, tame it up. Keep all my... Uh, a lot of tranks and stuff down there in a box. That's going to be pretty, pretty safe. We demolished this, if you remember. We demolished this entire side. And we put the spike walls back, and this is the spike wall that I wanted to put back right here. We need to get it. We need to get it up. Because it was interfering with the door. It's interfering with the door. We don't want it interfering with the door. Alright, there we go. Non-interference door, hooray! But we opened it a whole lot. We opened it a whole lot. We put it along the back side of the safes that we had in our in there these tracks will probably be getting out of here pretty soon they've been producing a lot of eggs hey egg speaking of egg it's already working <laughs> not like it wasn't working before but it was just a pain in the butt to go in there everybody kept jumping over the rail attacking meganura and things like that so it was really a beating thank you egg raptors thank you no i don't want to exercise my right to access your inventory right now um you three holy moly thank you thank you thank you absolutely now we're encumbered are we encumbered there we go you guys got any eggs not like i can carry them anyway okay we'll come back for your eggs later hold on let me give these to you so 
so we have got to free up some room. We have a video to do. You can hold on to those, okay? Hold on for them. I'll be right back. But anyway, so we open this up. If you remember, this entire side over here, it used to be the egg farm. But, man, it was so cramped. And when they got stirred up, it was just such a pain to get them uh, tur uh, turned back in there. And I don't want to leave them on... Uh, on passive because I don't have anything up here that can get up there to protect them especially if I'm on a bird or something so I'd rather fix them than lose them so we're the spinos they're gonna the spinos the uh, scorpions are gonna stay around for a while the raptors are gonna stay around for a while I'll be getting rid of the dillos and the uh, dodos here real soon because I got a lot of eggs of those so I'm not too worried about that enter and exit door which I think is really good we got this addition right here which is the door that we can actually access and go through. This really turned out great, to be honest with you. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And uh, I'll show you real quick. You can... Uh, we put in the ramp. The only spot that I was really unhappy with was this spot right here. I tried and tried, but I couldn't get anything in there. We picked up a lot of storage space right here, too. So we can put some miscellaneous things in here. I don't think that the babies will have any problems getting out of here. If they can get out of this door... They can definitely get out of one that's bigger over here. So there shouldn't be any problems. We left everything the same there. Let's take our uh, our horsey. And let me show you what I did. Well, let me see if it works. We'll test this thing out and see if it works. Alright, baby. Come on. Don't let me down. Run up here. Stay to the left. And hook it right up here. There we go. That's what I'm taking to boot. Alright. Let's hook on back down, run back down a bit. It was a real, real pain in the butt, the way that it was angled over there. And plus, I never really used that spot over there. So I'm really happy with this decision that I made for the base. It really, I think it really helps me out. And plus, it made me a nice little platform over here just in case. Yeah, it works absolutely great. But we picked up this little platform that's a lot easier access. So if I'm rolling like a train of guys in... I can have like a little holding pin temporarily until I get everything sorted out and then bring them down past that. So it really, really worked out. Uh, I had to put this little bump in here, the uh, foundations right along here, stone foundations, because the ceilings wouldn't snap because the ground was a little bit uneven, but I could sink the foundations and run it along the entire back part. And I think this turned out really, really cool. I think it accents the back of the base. I know it's real simplistic, but... I don't care. I'm a simple kind of person. I like simple uh, feeding trough, of course. And I think it really turned out absolutely fantastic the way this... I'm really, really happy. A lot happier than the way it was before. Even if those guys get stirred up, I'll be able to fix them really, really well. But, oh, get out of here. I love that. <laughs> those Plant Series X, man, they don't mess around. They don't mess around. But, guys, I... I oh. Oh, did I shoot somebody? I hope I didn't. Alright, let's go. In. And around. And down. There we go. I really wanted to tell you thank you again for stopping by and clicking on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, if this gives you any good ideas for your base or, um, or anything to help you guys out, that's what I'm here for. Trying to help you guys and help myself. But I really wanted to thank you very much for being here. I enjoy uh, playing ARK and I enjoy sharing it with you guys. Like, subscribe if you haven't. You guys have an absolutely fantastic week. We'll see you later.